Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're heading over to Sandra's place. She's the woman that we saved at the very beginning. And uh, we found this data bank for her after she contacted us. She told us not to read it, but you know, obviously we did. And there's something to do with some type of AI that's been, I guess, uploaded into certain uh, test subjects at the NCPD. And beyond that, I'm not exactly sure where that's going to lead us, but somebody that was infected with this uh, AI went like berserk and threw somebody out a window or something. That's what we read on her on her data bank. So I'm sure she's going to know that we read it, but let's just play it by ear. Are you telling me we, we got here and didn't even kill anyone? That's pretty impressive. Driving plus one. Thank you. Diamond does. What are you selling? Heavyweight boxing tournament. Nothing. Nothing of use. Thanks. I mean, this is exciting. This is really exciting to meet her. She's got cameras. We can turn it on, or we can take control. Does she have other cameras? Nope. Oh. Hello? Sandra, it's me, V. I got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. <laughs> Don't like leaving the door what open. What the? Look at this. Still worried about... Uh, we're going to turn this off. I have a bad feeling about this all of a sudden. It's Gavs. My, um friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Silverhand fan? No, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? What are you worried about? If it's not the scavs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything? It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? She's not wrong. It's a fair point. Here, don't worry. It's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Immediately. I mean, yeah, uh, let's be honest, because she'll I'm sure she would find out anyway. All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? Well, oh, blackmail? No, I think it... Let's congratulate her. To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Nycorp has earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. Huh. Oh, look, we can talk nerds. So, conditioning people's minds. Yeah. <sighs> this is interesting, too, though. Maybe we'll get more respect for Give her, though, if we talk nerds. With here. Night Corp secured up the ass. Can't just have blow the usual black ad and fire shaft. You must have whipped up some angry demons. You zip them up in an imp? Yeah. Leviathan. Even Cerberus isn't enough if you want to punch through that kind of corpo ice. Use an AGI to condition workers' minds. <laughs> That's some supervillain shit right there. Not just workers. Anyone. That's the scariest part. You've been a big help. Here, I threw in a little extra. Oh, that's so cool. Over. It's good to be reminded I'm not in this fight alone. Probably because we talked nerd Thanks. to her. Be seeing you. I wonder if she becomes like, there are people around that we can buy, like here, for example. There's Netrunners we can buy uh, quick hacks and stuff from, and I wonder if she ever becomes that for us. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, now, here's the thing. I thought it was NCPD, but I guess I might have had that wrong. If we look at the shard here, 
have a couple of things we need to read. Uh, this is the one. Let's see. Oh, Night Corp employees. For some reason, I, I saw it night NC and I was like NCPD. So Night Corp, uh, not NCPD, very different, but big corporation nonetheless. And they installed this stuff and then there's some type of uh, dispute during which HK-13 strangled one of their colleagues, jumped out of the 16th floor window of the research facility. And then they're going to install this into the devices of their actual target. Very cool. I really hope that that's not the end of... I hope that's not the end of our uh, work with her. Because this would be really interesting. Entry 36. Weird. It looks like Anon42 is right after all. I guess maybe somebody she's talking to online. Recently found a previously uncharted section of the net out in the boonies. Even though I'd already been there maybe 20 odd times. I guess you can only access it with the right parameters. It only cost me a week of sleepless nights, but I finally finished the Leviathan and punched through the section undetected. At least I think. Good thing too, because it turns out Anum 42 sick Night Corp servers against me. I really should just take a break, quit the net for a few months. Those files did look really suspicious. What else you got going on in here? Very uh, Japanese inspired furnishings. Very cool. 37. Jesus, those files. Maybe I should have left them alone. Each of them could be a puppet without even realizing it. And those fights to the flights to the moon? What are they cooking up there? Was it human DNA or... I couldn't run a thorough scan. I only had time to break through one folder's ice. Either way, pretty sure they flagged me. I can't tell if it was an unmasking demon or their dweller. Dweller, I think, referencing, like, their own netrunner. Looks like she's looking into some type of explosion in a Zeta Tech lab. Thirty-eight. They're watching me and not just on the net. Some shady looking types followed me all the way to work today. When I finally worked up the nerve to turn around and face them, they vanished. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, but I think they were speaking Russian. Starting to get a little freaked out. I wonder... Okay, so these entries maybe were before. And then these people were following her. And that's how she ended up in the... Where we found her. That would be my guess, anyway. All right, cool. Yeah, I really hope this is not the last we see of her. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now, this is big. We're going back to Victor. Uh, I will also head to this tarot card nearby. But we're going to get a better cyber deck. And this will be nice for a few reasons. Typically, when we go into a mission, we're usually approaching stealthily right so we only have two slots right now so we've been taking like a disable and we take a ping uh so that we can scan a bunch of stuff but if we have extra slots available then that just lets us be quite a bit more versatile <laughs> we're backing up traffic a little bit here my bad my bad my bad and we'll have a lot more options available to us they will be more expensive to use and we won't be able to just spam non-stop. But uh, we have like really fast RAM recovery. We can invest in some other uh, quick hack recovery perks now that would make sense. Grabbing them before doesn't really help a lot if we only have limited hello. Nice. I didn't know I could scan it from the car. Which one is it? Temperance we've seen, Justice, Magician, The Sun. Is it Temperance, maybe? Let's go take a look. The sun. Okay. And, hello. Don't mind if I do. Okay, the sun. The sun symbolizes success. It's a card of freedom, renewal, and a bright future that lies ahead. Sun also represents truth, for its light will always pull back the curtain of shadow that hides the world's secrets. It also represents greatness and splendor. There's a part of me that feels like these tarot cards uh, could lead to something really interesting, but also it, it might just be purely like collectible stuff. It could be 100% just that, who knows. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. This is a joke. Fucking joke. Sit in a cop to a neighborhood like that a year before retirement. This vehicle drives like. How would I describe this? It drives exactly how it looks. <laughs> like, bulky. Extremely bulky. Looks like we might have a new update for Co here too. But what they don't know, the real name for this thing they call cyberspace is actually the internet. Pandemonium! That too. What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet you live never voices? cross that threshold. For their souls will join those ghosts. Heard their voices? What did they say? They spoke not in the language of mortals, no. They howled, screaming in agony, forever removed from their earthly form. Among them was a woman, her voice of ice, Queen Lilith. She was calm, but at the cost of uh, humanity. Yes, Queen Lilith. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. <laughs> and I answer you, the techno necromancers of Alpha Centauri. Okay, I believe you. Sad thing is, he's probably right about everything. No one's gonna believe him because he's a raving lunatic. Okay, time to dump another huge wad of cash into Victor's Just pockets. about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Okay, here we go. So we want a whole new operating system. Oh, now this one. Okay. So this is legendary. Slows time when you activate it by holding E. It's only got three slots though. Whereas this one has five slots. Interesting. To equip this, you need 15 reflexes as well, which is not something that we're invested in. So I think this is, oh, this is actually a little bit different even. This doesn't even have like, it's not even a cyber deck. It's just additional mod slots. Okay, we definitely want a cyber deck for, for our build. So eight base RAM, seven buffer size, five slots, uh, quick hack cooldown reduced by 45% and increased combat quick hack duration by 40%. Uh, it also allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. Oh, cool. Let's do it. Very expensive, but hopefully worth it. And it's in and we're broke. That's great. We've given this guy so much cash. Well-deserved cash. He's an absolute beauty. But now we need to set this up. So, cyber deck. We definitely want to have... Okay, we have an epic synapse burnout. We have memory wipe. Exit the combat state. Uh, where's our ping? We definitely want to have ping first. And some type of disable... I guess the order probably doesn't matter. Uh, where's the one where they have to stand in place? Request backup, reboot optics, cripple movement. We can grab synapse burnout. It deals moderate damage. It scales higher based on how much health the target's missing. Cost six RAM. If the target's defeated by this quick hack, they burst into flames, causing enemies within a six meter radius to panic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. We'll take a non-lethal quick hack. And it's good against mechs, robots, uh, and drones. And then we have... What else do we want to take? Whistle. Contagion. Non-lethal. Deals low damage that applies poison. Spreads to two targets with an 8 meter radius. Cyberware malfunction. Disables the target's cyberware abilities. Can disable movement or resistances. Very effective against fast-moving targets and net runners. Let's actually do that as well. Now we have a whole bunch of really good options that we can utilize. Uh, let's get rid of this. Still holding on to the Lizzie. We can get rid of Liberty here. All right. So what do we want to tackle next? Wait, is this, is this still Co? And what hides the Reptilians? I answer you, no, not reptilians, but werewolves. Ah, uh, yes, the, the werewolf sunset, theory. They strip off their clothes and dance nakedly. 
giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Uh huh. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night. Right. So, while the trucks, then. I don't know. It doesn't add up. If they can move like that. While the trucks and bikes. Ah, ah, when the moon shines full, I said. <laughs> only three nights a oh, month. Oh, that makes During more sense. During their orgies of blood, they devour all in the area. In the day, they must drive to virgin lands in search of new prey. Oh, And the right. cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash-landed in the Badlands. Legend tells that it carried a substance Highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash. Well, you got a problem with blood. nomads, freak? Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six <laughs> feet Jesus under. Jesus Christ. You can break Whoa. my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. Being called a werewolf is flattering, if anything. Jesus, chill. Wouldn't you want people to think we're werewolves? It's fucking hardcore. Maybe the backers like childish jokes, but oh, I'm you not gonna go? put up with that shit. Aldo Caldo? Yes. Some kid tells you you're a gonk and you smell bad, and you cry about that too? This guy's been rambling on about hell, vampires, and necromancers from space. <laughs> you seriously believe he's deliberately so targeting our rep? Well, sure. His brain clearly ain't firing on all cylinders. Oh, fuck it. I won't waste my time yeah. on street creep. Exactly. Just enjoy the show. That was close. They're not as dangerous in the daylight, but it still could have ended badly. Oh, man. Thank you for your concern. Though, I could have done without the mockery. No problem. I mean, who's going to tell me how we fake the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? Exactly. You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked? When they take me for a false prophet? Well... I mean, there's probably, yeah, there's probably very small amounts of truth in what you're saying. It's hard to take your interpretation seriously, but there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too. You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it. You know, if you had any kind of real evidence of this grand cosmic plot. I do, tonight. They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important. What? Observe them. Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact. Oh, we're You'll doing see it. I was right from the beginning. Uh, how do you know about this? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their co-processor in my head! I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together! Uh, you know what? I'm all in, buddy. You've convinced me 100%. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late! All could be lost. Oh, this is so stressful. The fate all of, a of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure. Got it. Wow. The prophet song. I'm a kilometer away, and we are absolutely 100% going there. A clandestine meeting of reptilians at midnight? V, we're not missing this. <laughs> if you want answers to the questions plaguing humankind for eons, this might be your only shot. Is there life in the cosmos? Is there anyone pulling the strings? If so, why? And why the fuck do they let all this evil shit happen? And to think the universe's greatest secrets could be found in some old factory in our humble little city. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. What time is it? 1.18 a.m.? Hopefully that's cool. Let's go before daybreak. Okay, calm down, everyone.
I can't believe that actually led anywhere. I at the I just thought he was just doing random like rants. And then we would kind of feed him some information, tease him a little bit. And he would just continue ranting, but no, now there's a real thing, apparently. Nice city med center. I mean, they'll probably hear us coming from a mile away. Look at this. This would be cool, man. Come on. Be awesome. I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to walk it here just in case. Oh, Johnny. Okay. I'm sure Johnny's going to love this idea. Why are you listening to this raven the lunatic? The time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? Uh, the wolves, man. The wolves. Reptilians, obviously. If anything's fishy, always pin it on the reptilians. V, V, V. Hate to tell you this, but reptilians don't exist. Do we need to have a talk about Santa Claus, too? Your small mind around. would think so. Gotta be quiet. Gotta wait. Find somewhere to hide. So, real life story. I have a, uh, when I go get my hair cut at the, my barber, he, um, he's like big into conspiracy theories. And he's all about, like, there's already aliens on Earth, there's lizard people. He's, like, right into it. And every time I leave there, my brain is a little bit more mush than when I entered. I'm telling you, get yourself a barber that's into conspiracies, you'll never regret it. Okay. Sometime later. No one. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest. Though, uh, what's I'm the thing above us there, buddy? Don't lose hope yet. Ooh. You got action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone actually showed. It's a maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians <laughs> were bullshit. What's the plan, Johnny? Keep a lookout. Can't believe it. Some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow. What the? But today they are protected Frick. by our children, whose name is Petrosite. Jane Doe. No affiliation. John Doe. And then all these maelstrom guys. They've got like codes and everything. In the age of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the death circle from the ancestors' eyes. Be 
cool. We need to go burnout. Oh my god, keep healing, keep healing. We are in big trouble. at her okay so we need to do the one that stops hold on short circuit hold on a second cyber malfunction so it looks like she's like super dodging Chip. <laughs> what? I was hoping so cool. Blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prop will say about this chip. Okay, hold up a sec. Where did my gun go? Oh, I must have accidentally switched this out. I think I picked up his gun by accident instead of just reloading. Okay, so I we probably didn't need to kill him, but I was worried that they would get away. I'm taking this vehicle. Hell yeah. We're going to roll up in style. Oh, I had some requests too to show more of the interiors of the vehicles while we're driving. I can try and do that. It's just much easier to drive the other way. But they, they do have some really cool interiors. Let me get out onto the streets here. Cool. Uh, that was not what I was expecting. And before we deliver this chip, I want to investigate it and see if there's anything we can do. See how hard it is to see anything in here? I'll try to work that in where I can, but it's very difficult to drive. As I switch to the other view and smash a car. Uh, uh. 
<laughs> this horn. What? See, you can't even see over the dash. What's your problem? Oh, not only did we get the chip, we took their car. And you would be proud. Okay. Uh, new items. Whoops. Where do we see this? I don't see it at all. Heat sink. Folding mods. Weird. All these access tokens. I wonder if it's in part of our journal by chance. Maybe some shards. We have to read these too. We'll do that at the end of this episode. Oh, destroy after reading. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at our huge buffer right now. Oh, that's such a huge buffer you have. So, 5-5. Five, five. It's the only one I can get there. 5-5. Five, five. E9. 1-C. Well, I don't know why it would kick me out of there. Where is it? What the hell? Orders? No. I wonder if because we checked it. Oh, here. Phosphor radiates, occluding jaded eyes, come Titan, outward ring, avian choruses, looping eternity, cages of men melt as night descends, emerge exula, erect cholula under these expanses, puppets lie awake, never sleeping. What? What, is this like a code of some kind? Uh, oh my god. It might actually be. Check this out. P if, we, if we just take the first letter. Oh, dude, there's... Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm like shaking. This is so cool. P-R-O-J-E-C-T. Project. O-R-A-C-L-E. Project Oracle. C O M M A N D command project oracle command holy shit E X E C U T E execute project oracle command execute P L A N S what project oracle command execute plans project Oracle command X. I gotta write this down. I gotta write this down. Project Oracle command execute plans. Now, I don't know what that means. P O C E P are the first letters. Project Oracle commands execute plans. Project, okay, so they're projecting a command executing plans. I don't know. I, I'm now, I'm like, I'm like totally into the conspiracy. <laughs> I'm all in. Wait, what? Our prophet. Oh my we God. Justice Where's Gary? Gary? Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him. Some black suits came by. No. The wise at all look just like he said. Then... Then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership. A mothership? 
when you saw this mothership. How could I? They sprayed this black mist, couldn't see nothing. Poor Gary, he sacrificed himself for us. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri. Care to spare a few eddies? <laughs> in love and memory? Fine. Should we ask about this mystery chip? I got this chip here. Am I taking a look? <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Don't run Jesus away with Christ, this. Hide that quick. Nobody can know. Got it? Why? What is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this would happen. They here to bend us to their will, to to make us their puppets. Whoa, calm down. Who is? The Tecro Necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. No, that's not the end. What's this story taught us? Open ending you know, suck. <laughs> the lack of closure that's sucks. Scary. Yeah. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. I'd rather believe in aliens now. Oh, where's your sense of imagination? I choose to believe we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. It's corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastard sketched out on power fantasy. I mean, yes. I that's what we saw. Shady corporal biz. No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. I mean, that's true, but still, what, like, what was the chip about, and who were they, and why were they meeting, and all of that? You're just, you're gonna cliffhang me like this? This is, I can't. Gary? I, if we got it, we, we have to somehow, somehow this has to make sense. Plus, there's, like, the code in there. Project Oracle Command Execute Plans. Like, what? 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 We demand justice for Prophet Gary. 